I am literally going to attack this program. <laughs> Hitboxed me to death. Yeah, this is, uh, hmm. Starting to see why they had the balls to lock this behind several invisible walls. Oh, <laughs> uh, and it's like all, every fall in this is big enough that you will die from it. So the cat ring is fucking useless here. I wasn't holding down the run button when I did the jump, so I'm just dead. This better suck my dick when I get down there. <laughs> Morgoth was right. We never, we never should have gone. <laughs> we should have let it, let it. <laughs> not been seen enough. Frenzied sloppy toppy. Like, it looks like we just have to go for this one, and uh, falling mechanics didn't work, so. Aye, aye, aye. This is not the worst it's ever been with them, but this is pretty bad. <laughs> Like, it doesn't help that to get in here, you basically have to do... Getting in here was already one of the worst dungeons that I've done in the game. Like, it's really... Getting down here fucking sucks. Um, So it doesn't really help that... <laughs> and then like, hey bro, how do you feel about jumping puzzles?
I click jump. I sure love that I'm on tiny platforms that I have to do run jumps on in order to make progress. Which requires me to hold down and press two different buttons. And that they aren't spaced properly, so you can just overshoot them. <laughs> Yeah, if you had the horse here, this would be much much easier, because you can double you can use the double jump to auto correct. But uh, we're technically in a dungeon, in a legacy dungeon, so it's like <laughs> get fucked, man. <laughs> Yeah, that's not a safe drop. That's not safe. You can probably make that pretty safely, honestly. Yeah. Well, fuck it. Nope. Can't jump that far. <laughs> it's like, at the very least, the run is short. But it's the fact that... There's a run at all for this is like, oh, come on. Like, you can ignore all the enemies at least, which makes it better. But platforming has n never been one of this franchise's large points. uh, good Or good points in general. So the fact that there's just a bunch of weird platforming challenges in this game <laughs> is like, oh, don't do that. <laughs> Like, it's not even that long either. It's just, there's a bunch of platforms that are just, like, straight-up lies. <laughs> yeah, and we're dead. It doesn't help that the cat, uh, the cat ring sucks in this game as well. <laughs> yeah. It's just, like... So, so you have to do exact platforming to make it on these tombstones to make any progress you have to do running jumps that you can overshoot um because of how small the platforms are and any single one of them results in instant death if you miss and there is no easy way down you have to do it Like, if you could, like, have the horse, you could just auto-correct to jump right there. Over and over again until you get to the bottom. Uh, but you aren't allowed to have the horse. <laughs> I also can't quite tell. That's where we're going, I think, to where that item is. And... It, it killed us. <laughs> you know, I think we're already at, like, the most deaths I've had in the entire game to an area. Uh, just off of this. <laughs> oh. But I remember that I wanted it. Yeah. Yeah, it's like... Whatever's down there, it's like... It was locked behind a force field, behind an optional dungeon, behind an optional boss. That was then locked behind a main boss that you had to come back for. <laughs> And 
and the hitbox killed us. You, sorry, you tried to make a jump, but this hitbox was a little too low, so you instead touched your head against it and killed all of your momentum. <laughs> Uh, see, this is just the kind of thing where it's like, this isn't fun for the player, but it's not fun for, like, watching either. <laughs> but this is also, like, the first time we've gotten a place that seems to be directly tied to frenzy lore in the game. So I want to do it. Because I want to know what's going on with Frenzy. I didn't jump far enough, so we're dead. <laughs> it's like fucked up too, because it's like... At least we had the model, right? Yeah, hello! <laughs> you know what, fire? Let's just mess around with the model while we're here. Hold on. Uh... Okay. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> the power of models and this tiny cat I found he's down there <laughs> okay let's try it again Bam. <sighs> Like, we can't make that jump because we'll bounce our head off the wall and die. <laughs> that jump leads to nowhere. So we just gotta try and make this long fall. What? <laughs> that is not what I intended at all. Control fall. We bounced off the wall. Like, we didn't bounce off anything. We hit the wall, and instead of falling, it threw us back out. <laughs> like, we, we were on track to hit that. And then it literally bounced us off the wall <laughs> and into the death pit. <laughs> oh, from soft. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess whoever comprised the, this place decided that the walls needed to have the properties of rubber. Which, you know what? Sounds like a Miyazaki thing. Sounds like something... Uh, hmm. I see. <laughs> Let's move. Move, 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 move. I keep thinking I can make that jump, and I know I can't, but I try it anyway. Uh, and that's fucking stupid of me. Or little people. Right. 
like, yeah, I can probably make it with the fall physics. And it's like, nah, you don't move that far. Eat shit. <laughs> It's like, thank you, Mr. Miyazaki. I will go back to shoveling feces into my mouth. <laughs> uh. What? <laughs> okay. Well... See, the reason that I'm so determined about this is that I found this goddamn wall over two and a half weeks ago. Uh, and then we had computer problems and we weren't able to stream for two weeks. So I've been looking at this shit <laughs> for like 30 hours of game time, unable to do it. So now that we're down here, <laughs> I'm going to do it. <laughs> it's not a want. It's not a need. It's a hunger. <laughs> And then later I'll beat Miyazaki's ass on Twitter myself if I have to. That was a normal jump, by the way. I was in a run. <laughs> it doesn't help that since we're on an older version, because PS5s are a pain in the ass to get right now, still, uh, we have to sit through a I like 20 second loading screens. <laughs> Which is honestly making it more annoying. But it's fine. I've done way worse than this in video games, like It's like at least I'm at least I'm dying in like under <laughs> at least it's like a 30 second death window. What? <laughs> How does that make any sense? <laughs> That's just funny. <laughs> FromSoft games really are the most, like, comedically terrible things. Like, they're not trying to be funny, but they just are. Yeah, apparently just cutting that corner uh, will fucking kill me, <laughs> so there's that. Oh, well, I guess we're dead. <laughs> it decided I landed, but I didn't, so... <laughs> It's the, it's the ones where it stops your momentum, but then drops you anyway that really get us. Because, like, why? <laughs> why would you do that? I'm gonna get down here and it's gonna be like, you picked up the, the, the pickle juice of Radigan, congratulations. You've unlocked the piss ending. That's the one that always gets me. That jump. I'm not even sure if you're supposed to jump. They might just want you to literally walk off. <laughs> or roll off it. In which case that's fucked up. <laughs> Oh, I could be progressing the game right now. Yeah. And the, see, the thing was, in a lot of older Souls games, there would be points where you would roll off things to get extra distance because there wasn't a proper jump button. 
but now that there's a jump button, I haven't tried to roll off, like, anything in the game. Okay. Almost there. Oh, thank Christ. Okay. Inescapable frenzy. Incantation originating from the maddening three finger what? <laughs> Causes the yellow flame of frenzy to blaze from the caster's eyes. The caster then latches onto foes, spreading the madness. This incantation also causes buildup of madness in the caster, and is only effective against tarnished Oh PvP. Gaze into one another's eyes to see the most intimate form of human contact. There better be no enemies in a goddamn grace down here. So help me. I'm gonna ignore you. That's what I thought. Oh, thank fuck. <laughs> oh my god, it's her. Are you kidding me? I was wondering where she disappeared to. Hold on. Uh, that one. I was wondering where you disappeared to. So you're here as well, are you? I realized as we talked, I'll be a maiden, and you, surely a lyric. Go to the door ahead. After divesting your what? Surely open, and the three fingers will welcome you. May the flame of chaos find purchase within you. Go to the door ahead. It will surely open. That's a fucked up door. Nike. Is that a hand on the thing? Oh, you're fucked up, huh? Oh, you got a fundo. We kind of cheeked up. This is not what I expected to go down, down here. What the hell? What? 
Well, our eyes are fucked up as shit now. Should we have done that? <laughs> there was no, like, warning for it. <laughs> I assume if that, that has unrepairable consequences, they would have given me a warning. <laughs> Militia at I've been a bit of a bit of a bit of a Shield. Uh, ba -dum -ba. You know, I expected there to be like, I don't know, an area down here or something. Lutol. <laughs> okay. This is now a safe zone, by the way. Feels weird that they just kind of dropped that on us. Um, since there's been no indication of three fingers up till now at all. Hey, Hiyata. Oh, at her eyeballs. To mention the frenzy, okay. But like... I, we, we met the Frenzy Village, we've seen two Frenzy Village and the tower and like one NPC that had to do with Frenzy. It's kind of been like wholly unrelated to the actual plot so far. Okay, at first I was like, maybe these guys got what they're going to know what they're doing, but then they were like, no, just kill everything. Burn it all to the ground. It's all fucked up. Get it all out of here. And I'm like, oh. Frenzied flame seal, frenzy flame stone. I guess she's she's done now. That was a a bow item? I assume it's a yeah. Jesus, those... Okay. Boosts frenzy flames incantations and causes madness blight up. 
Formless sacred seal bestowed by the Maiden of the Three Fingers. Enhanced incations of Frenzy Flame. Yeah, no, this scales with every- like, everything. <laughs> the seal is the mark of the Lord of Frenzy Flame. Scales and temptations using strength, discarity, intelligence, and faith. Like... You do have to give us a second note, uh, because we gotta double check something. Because I've been told in advance that the Frenzy Flame ending is the only one in the game that locks you into it. So I need to make sure we didn't just accidentally... But I- because I was told there would be a bunch of warnings. Before you would actually trigger the lock-in. Okay, so, uh, no, straight up, uh, the only warning the game actually gives you, um, is apparently if you talk to Meliana at this bonfire before you go through. <laughs> but apparently there is a way to remove it later. Yep, here she comes. We didn't actually sit down here, so we fucked up. I, uh, <laughs> that sure would have been a nice, a nice warning to not require me to actually sit at a bonfire for in an area with no enemies. <laughs> Hold on. Oh! Huh. Okay. So we have to go be a boss in a later area. Um... We have to beat a boss in a later area and a complete a side quest to get ourselves the other endings. However, uh, we already have the item for that. We did the side quest already. It's, uh... If we still have it, we might have to get it back from someone later. Yeah, it looks like we have to get it back from someone later by continuing their side quest. Um, but apparently we need the item from Millicent's questline. So once we fully finish that, we can fix that. Was not aware that was going to happen. That's kind of fucked up. Like... <laughs> it's a cutscene that plays only if you actually sit at the bonfire. What if you don't sit at the bonfire? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
that's fucked up because like <laughs> I can see how this is like probably the rarest ending because it's the only one that doesn't seem properly side lo like locked to a major side quest in any way you can just stumble upon it but also it's hidden like crazy <laughs> like like good like the amount of bullshit we had to do to even find that not to, so so to to break it down in order to do that you have to get through the entirety of the royal capital uh and follow the dung eaters instructions after finding a single item in the entire capital to go to the sewers then you have to fall down a well complete an entire dungeon then know that there is an invisible wall in the dungeon that you have to hit. Then you have to... <laughs> then you have to walk down it, um, that entire thing. After going to beat Morgoth, you have to beat Morgoth after you find it. Then go do a platforming challenge. Then fall through a fake floor. Remove all your clothes and stand in front of a door, which you won't know to do unless you already got, um, unless you finished a completely different side quest <laughs> entirely. <laughs> and then you have to finish the game normally. Also, unfortunately, because we did that, um, I don't know how it's going to affect the game from here on out because we were supposed to use uh what's her name T to burn the tree uh but she's gone now and hates us So like, man, fuck if I know what's going to happen from this point. All because I didn't sit at a bonfire, huh? <laughs> Bye. Like, like that that shit was hidden like five layers down. It's like uh, what the fuck? <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's like Lord of Chaos sounds cool, but then you realize it's the quest one where they're like, "Fuck it, this world's shit. Burn it all to the ground. I don't want to see any of it." And I'm like, oh. How come you get to ride a horse up here, sir? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> sir, leave me alone. Oh, what? <laughs> it just gave me a somber shard six. <laughs> what? Dude, this horse is chasing. God damn. I expected this to wait, be the way forward. Why was there? <laughs> there was an exit up there. Well, it's 
snow. Okay. Let's go up here. I think the 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 thing that's bad, like the worst part of this scenario, is that we have we've ended up with a situation where we can't just like reload saves to get the endings, uh, no, the four endings normally, and then go do the frenzy flame ending. We have to go do the frenzy flame ending because if we remove frenzy flame first, we just straight up lock ourselves out of the ending, like forever. Uh, it was over here. That is a divine tower. What? Uh. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Well, there is one. No. No. This is doing so much posture damage. <laughs> it's like, if it was like a normal, if it was like a normal Dark Souls thing, I'd be like, yeah, sure, whatever. Dark Souls isn't that long of a game. But it's like, this is a, this is like a 120 hour game. Like. <laughs> like, god damn. Yeah, like I, I read up a little bit and it was like, do Millicent's entire quest line properly. And then beat a specific boss to use an item at the grace from the boss to unremove frenzy <laughs> it's like damn what the fuck i mean i'm gonna do everything i want to do everything in the game anyway but god that was weird what the fuck <laughs> what? what was that boss fight why did that happen Inventory. That gave us the omen killer ashes. There he is. Ashen remains in which spirits yet thrill. Used to summon the spirit of omen killer Rolo. Spirit of Rolo. Known as the first omen killer. Once a famous perfumer. Rolo imbibed a psychic to rid himself of emotion. Thus enabling him to exact his nightmarish labor. Hunting the omen. Yeah, no, once you know where to go, it's super easy. So I assume this is for Morgoth. Yeah, it's... The, the story is... It's fragmented and it's kind of weird at first, but it's all... It's mostly delivered through, like, NPCs. And it's still kind of fragmented, but things start making more sense. Like when we learn that uh, Ronnie made the the original like death shit, uh, not for the the assassins to, to kill, um, but to kill herself, and that the the assassins that did the deed appear to have actually been working for the greater will in the two fingers. Oh, this shit ain't good. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah.
yeah. Like, the Dark Souls games are... Like, there's the first one that's actually, like, pretty damn straightforward for the main plot, but it's, like, piecing together the rest of the world is kind of weird. And then there's the other ones where it's like, oh, this is some insane shit. <laughs> like, good luck with... Good luck with Bloodborne and DS2. Margot's Great Rune. A great rune of the Sharbear Mogo. Its, <laughs> its blessing greatly raises maximum HP. This great rune is the anchor ring that houses the base. It proves two things. That the Omen King was born of the Golden Lineage, and that he was indeed the Lord of Lindau. What if we were all racist to the Omen, but oops. Well, yeah, it has the stuff with the king and the wife, but it's, like, the rest of the game is, like, the souls of the four lords for the original games have been transpired down into into random monsters that you meet. Uh, everything is a cycle. The, every, everything is fucked up. The, uh, God, I can't even remember half of it. Uh, the, the descendants of Manus came as Nishandra to fuck up the city. There were three of them, and two of them are in the... Th they're all in the DLC, but then there's Nishandra, and she fucked Vendrick, and then Vendrick went crazy to remove the curse, and... <laughs> Seif became a spider. <laughs> there's the Grand Lift of Rold. And there's the Volcano Manor quest. All the way over there. Damn, Riker, you're going to be waiting a while. I assume that this isolated one was Riker's. But now I don't know whose tower this is. <laughs> no, wait, that's West Atlas. So that's probably Riker, because this is West. So, uh, who the fuck? Like, <laughs> middle of fucking nowhere. Okay. Well, let's head to the Forbidden Lands. <sighs> like, I can only assume the one that's, like, out in the middle of nowhere is, like, Melania or something. Because, like, if there's one thing I've heard about the rest of this game, it's that Melania is a motherfucker. <laughs> That that is the one like phrase I like I have heard repeated over and over again is goddamn. <laughs> oh, this shit gonna suck till we get a map, huh? Isolated is Melania. Yeah, I don't care. Of course, this is where all the vulgar militia bastards are. <laughs> yeah, no, Radon's fight is just you can get there super early and the numbers are like crazy high. What the? Really? Really? Oh my. What? And that, that was the main road. We are supposed to go that way. <laughs> so note to self. 
don't touch the plants or poison happens, I guess. Get off the horse here, since apparently the horse does not like this location. Not even a real one. Fuck off, vulgar militia. Place is gonna suck till we can get access to a goddamn map. Horse. Thank you. That's just a lot of fake ones around here. That one was just on a tree. Oh god, it's all the way up here. What? Oh. Well. Okay, I guess we're finding a boss. Yo! Wow, damn. <laughs> Thank you, Clefta Polar Bear, for dropping 50 bucks and going, not sure if it would let me use my username, and I don't get to watch too much. But here's $50 on your quest to annoy die for 10 hours or however long it takes. I'm sure you can achieve your goal to become chaos or whatever. We actually believe in order, but uh, the game seems to be forcing us down the chaos route. Oh, f hmm. Time to fight the gargoyle from Kaelid again. Ah, <sighs> great. Did Ronnie's ending myself? I was thinking about doing Ronnie's or Fia's, uh, but I, I guess the game had other plans. <laughs> Where the fuck am I? Okay, just down the road. Did you notice what was in the frenzy hole? Like, in in the in the building that was it was in. Hold on, summon you as a mage because you'll do more fucking damage as a mage. Yeah, I noticed they were all merchants. Yeah, because they were playing they were playing the instruments. This is gonna be fucked. This guy's got like some real fucking stats. I need you guys to tank aggro. Yeah, just stand to the stand to the laser asshole. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Gr 
Gargoyle's Black Blades. Gargoyle's Black Axe. Still no grace, huh? God damn. Yeah, it said that I know the merchants were like cast outs without a home, essentially, that people don't quite like. So I know I know we can't do this yet. Um because we need to get the other half of the secret medallion. Your fingers, your fingers. Well, yeah, there's uh, two that are moving by default that we ended up having to fight, and they did, in fact, use Frenzy. Full f is full bit, isn't it? Um, by the way, very funny that we're going to go burn down a tree that supports the world, uh, by you, by going to the, uh, mountain of the fire giants. <laughs> also, we can't get the map until we go up there. That's fucked up. Like, the map is on top of the grand lift. So, I th if I remember correctly, the other half is in Castle Soul. Unless I'm thinking of a different Grand Lift. From what uh, the merchant told me. By the way, fucked up. You're you're correct. Okay. It is, yeah. Oh. The normal medallion just works here? I guess it's a different one. Okay. Oh, they pissed. Okay. So let's go get the map at least. I was ex- Because I know the other one is apparently at a place called the Halig Tree. The Maiden gives you one for killing Morgoth usually. Oh, oops. Well, unfortunately, uh... Because <laughs> this is intended progress. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, she hates us right now, so. Uh, because I didn't I didn't think to actually sit down at the bonfire right before the two fingers. So, uh, it's going to make the rest of this game's progress very funny. Because the only way they tell you not to do this is if you actually sit at that bonfire. But I just activated the bonfire and left. <laughs> God damn, we just went to fucking heaven, huh? I think the funniest part is that I have been told that there's, um... Uh, no, yeah, the Blind Maiden's quest ends there. She lights herself on fire and goes, Ah! 
and then and then uh, you get a you get what appears to be the best talisman in the game. She's just like, go into the, take off your clothes, go to the door and talk to the three fingers. It'll be sick, bro. Trust me. And I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but my brain was at the same time like, how did you get down here? Yeah, Frenzy is for PvP. It's like the best... It... It's still the best one in the game because it scales with everything except Arcane. Which is by default, it's, it makes it the best one. But it also makes it absolutely busted for PvP. Oh, so most of the Forbidden Land over... Most of this part of the map is worthless. Okay, good to know. <laughs> Is it the one where, um, I assume the one good frenzy one is the one where you light yourselves on fire and just run at a motherfucker and then blow up? <laughs> Ronin's armor, Ronin's greaves, Ronin, what? Sure, Yura? Why is his gear here? Iron Cross of a man who calls himself Shibiri? Okay. <laughs> so Yura is Shibiri. Crafted to imitate the woven straw hats worn in the land of reeds, the man once known as Yura kept a woman in the deepest reaches of his heart. Damn, well I guess I'm gonna have to look up that dialogue later. Because I explored too hard and just missed progress. He shows up here saying that Yura died and Shibiri took over his body. Okay. Man, feels like Yura got the rough end of the stick. He shows up in the tutorial area to teach you about summoning. And then he just f f fucking dies, I guess. Where is his armor? Nope, nothing there. Yeah, it looks like that's it. Man, that's a shame. Bro, he was super cool. I, I thought we might see more of him properly later. A lot of spirit animals up here. That is a summon sign. Which means there's going to be a lot of dudes here. Is that an Onyx Lord? Where the fuck did he go? No, that's... Oh, it's one of the Ice Knights! Yeah, I went back to talk to Shura, like, multiple times, but he just kind of like stopped having new dialogue and I couldn't figure out how to proc it. Time to get the smartest motherfucker I know. Oh, 
I'm on a cliff, dude. That's not gonna work. <laughs> You, what? You have to walk through an impassable barrier? Uh, what? <laughs> I'm gonna have to look his shit up on YouTube later apparently. What the hell? <laughs> oh, there's more about Mimic Tear is still hanging in there. Well, this place is a lot bigger than I thought it was, actually. Yeah, I just assumed that Shura was one of those ones where they're just like, yeah, the quest line wasn't finished, so we just cut it. Or Yura. Oh, there's a lot of these guys, huh? Get their ass, Mimikun. Mimic. Mimic darling. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Do not touch those bushes. There's multiple of those guys over there. God damn, this place is big. You know what this reminds me of? What I get the vibes of from this? Uh, that cut area from DS1. Or not DS1, from um, Demon Souls. Which was supposed to be uh, the ice mountain of the giants. Because as we know, from soft never wants to throw ideas away. They will reuse shit from the end of time. This place got a lot of dudes. <laughs> Zamora Ice Storm. Moon. Fuck that. <laughs> Have fun, Mimic. <laughs> oh, oh, the lights, the textures. Oh, shit's freaking out. Why is that happening? <laughs> Yeah, the Mimic's like insane now, so I'm like, what the fuck do you mean this thing was stronger before the patch? The textures in this zone do that in this zone specifically? <laughs> El Mayo. Hey, Smithing Stone Miner's Bell 3. Hell yeah. 
There's a tree. There's that. There's the Vault Lance Volcano Manor side quest. So, I still haven't figured out how to get to the underground area under Kaelid. Is it just through the cave here at the in, in Radon's area? Because that's the only thing I can think of. No? God damn. Okay. You have to go to the area you get from the secret- What? All the way up here? Oh god. Oh, that's gonna be a big zone. <laughs> Unless it just teleports you in, which is what I'm gonna assume it actually does. Because I know one of the, like, optional super bosses is down there. Yeah, I know. The, the reason I know about that area to begin with, uh, outside of just looking at it the entire game, um, it's because of that side quest, but because we're on PS4, you have to fork over money <laughs> to be able to do that side quest. How much do I need? 14,000. Okay. Yeah, it requires you to, um, to invade people. Unless they made a specific workaround for that. Oh my god, we're like two... Yeah, the guy just gives you the invasion items, and then you gotta go invade people before he'll progress. You have to invade like three times. Like, and, and if you don't give them, uh... Yeah, and if you don't give them PS... If you aren't paying them money for PS Plus, you ain't getting through that on console. A relic of the old days. Which is a shame, because that's uh, the best grinding spot in the entire game is down there. In case you want to go crazy and like grind out like 40 levels. Now we have to sit here, because I skipped the cutscene. Yeah. Yeah, it's the one bonfire where you can get like 40k every couple seconds. <laughs> Grace, sorry. <laughs> Force of habit. <laughs> I won't change. Oh look, there's a mausoleum down there. <laughs> one of the only things big enough to load in from this distance. Which means that there is, in fact, somewhere away down the mountains. Yeah, you basically have to run there if you go there early. But running from things in this game is pretty easily easy usually outside of the Vikings. Those ancestral spirit followers are motherfuckers. They will they will snipe you from like five hundred feet away. They do not care. Getting to see over Riverwell early is oh boy.
I think I'm still missing a spell from the the Ronnie quest line, by the way. There's supposed to be I think there's another moon spell. Um and I just couldn't figure out where you pick it up. <laughs> Wait, the, the lights are coming off these animals? Huh. There's another puzzle tower in the moon zone. Oh, that's where it is. Yeah, the one where the, I haven't I haven't gotten into that one yet because it's like I started, I found the turtle hanging off the side of the cliff, and then I spent five minutes trying to find another turtle, and that's a boar, that's a warbird. Jesus Christ. Hey, Hesvogare. What are you doing here? You shouldn't have. God damn. Those birds got hands. <laughs> Why did they do that much damage? What the fuck? So now we wait. Yeah, I assume you mean um, the Alter South down here, which is the only thing we haven't checked out in this. Apparently the Ringleader's Evergal has like one of the strongest summons in the game behind it, but Jesus Christ fighting that guy. Yeah, I was honestly just gonna, after I found the first one that was literally off the end of a cliff, I was like, maybe I'll come back for the others later. <laughs> Yeah, apparently certain weapons can literally just stun lock her forever. Is from is what I gotta be. Where the fuck were you? They just do they just break through guard? <laughs> That's fucked up. Fucked up that we spent the game fighting birds with knives on their feet, and then we just get up here and we find normal birds and they're scarier. <laughs> Pre patch, you could abuse a bit a glitch with the tree sentinel shield and could just kill her with no issues. That's funny. Alright, we're just gonna do the run. I don't wanna deal with these fucking birds, man. Deer. So sad. Yeah. Fuck off, bird. This way. Probably down. Ow. Oh, great. They're not only hyper aggro. They, they'll chase you. <laughs> My favorite.
Dude, calm down. 